I am back with a new topic, which is entrepreneur life. Yes, entrepreneur life. So today, I'm going to take you guys on a journey with me, with me starting my business. I'm going to show you guys my first load of inventory. I'm not going to show you guys everywhere I got my stuff, unfortunately, because, I mean guys want to start a business you got to put in your research now i can do a video that can show you guys how to research things and find out and how to talk to certain vendors but no i will not be giving my vendors today you know i will not so please don't ask okay now before i show you everything we got going on for those who don't know me i am valina okay and I also go by Beautifully V, and I'm starting my cosmetics line, which is Glamorous by Valina, and it's gonna have a few little things going on. Now, I do have the first little things for my launch, but before I show you guys, I want you guys to like and subscribe, okay? It is so important that you subscribe so you won't miss anything that your girl got to drop because I'm dropping some fire, some heat, especially things that I couldn't find when I was going on my journey trying to figure out what I want to do. So, yes, and the best part about subscribing is that it's free and it supports me, okay? All right. <laughs> So I am back. So again, I told you guys that I'm starting my new company. I already do have a company, which is Valinda's Global Maintenance. Um, my husband kind of like is the forefront of that. He does house restoration, floors, and he can build anything that deals with bricks from with hands. Okay, build porches, all that stuff. So yeah. Um, this is for my new company, which is Glamorous by Belina. And I'm going to show you some of the products that I have, some of the things that I'm planning on launching, and some of the ingredients that I got going on. Again, I won't be telling y'all everything, but I do got some hot little tips that if this is something that you want to do, maybe these are some things that you wasn't thinking it could help you. All right. So, first, that's probably looking like, dang, she looking kind of wild. She look kind of crazy. Well, um, again, I know I just told you guys that I also have another company. This will be my second company that I'm launching. And, and the first company um, is maintenance, like home improvement and stuff like that. Well, I know I should be dropping videos every week, but last week I was kind of busy being a supportive wife with my husband helping him on a contract that he had and during that contract being i was sanding floors oh my god i was sanding floors and stripping floors and dealing with a lot of chemicals and i had to wear a mask and it broke my face out it broke my face out like really really bad so i did get a new product i will be doing another video on this new product and i'm using this product to see how it can help my skin heal from the so, first thing that I'm doing with my company is I am starting my own lip gloss brand and it will be vegan, paraben free, all that other stuff, none of that stuff in it. So I did get some base and it came in this box here. And I did only get a six pound um, bucket of base to start off with. I know it's kind of like a lot, but I ain't got time to play. None to play. So I did get me some base and ta-da. I did go to ABA Cosmetic Supplies to get this base. Yes, I went to, I got my base from, oh got my base from ABA Cosmetics. This is a six pound bucket. And I feel like after I shopped around and priced a lot of things, I felt like it was another place that had a better deal, like as far as price wise for the same thing, but 
I don't know if they were sold out or what. I, I'm not sure, but I decided to go with ABA Cosmetics. And for this six pound bucket, it was only $101. Hold on, let me see. It was, yeah. It was like really, really, much, but I'm pretty sure it was um, $101. So I did get the base. Got some mica powders. And I'm going to like, kind of like cover up the bang on it. <laughs> I got like one of these little things. I'm only going to cover up this in this one particular on where I got these from. But yeah, it's like a little beginner kit. And I also got one, two, three, four, one ounce tubes of um, mica powder and I have a smaller one and this one here is the half ounce 25 point ounce and I also got some more little samples being because I really I'm going to just say I'm a licensed cosmetologist so I'm going to take a key from my color mixing and see what I could do Excuse my family, they are so loud in the background. This is so funny, y'all. They gave me like a Swedish fish in it. That was cute. But it came like in this um, little packet. But this is like one mica powder. It came in this and then it's another one that came in this. And I had got the sample ones because I didn't know how I would like it. And I just got a couple of white this one kind of like a pearlescent white and this one is too, but it's kind of like off-white, bright, right? I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking. I just went a little crazy. I did order some micas from TBK Trading. Ain't that what it's called? Let's see. Yeah, TKB. <laughs> TKB. So I got me some micas from there. I didn't go super too crazy, but one thing I do like about TKB with they mica powders is that you actually have the opportunity to get matte mica powders. Everywhere else that I was shopping had all these iridescent, like shiny, shiny, everything shiny, which is cool, but yeah, I don't want everything always shiny. And I also got a little secret ingredient. I'll show you guys, but I'm not going to quite tell you what they are. So, yeah. So, as far as micas, I think I got one more thing of micas, but that's in a whole nother box. I do have my squeeze tubes, and I got my squeeze tube printed from my vendor with um, my logo on it, which says Glamorous Lips by Valina. And I also have a wine tube, but I'm going to take the lid out because I'm not quite ready to show my full bottle. I just don't want, I want to inspire, but I don't want to inspire the swagger jackers. Sorry. But yeah, okay. So yeah, this is the bottle. The, my wine tube and then my squeeze tube. Now these is 10 milliliters and I didn't expect it to be this small. I do have 50 of these and I had got a hundred of these printed baby printed. And again, there's nothing wrong with um, you ladies who take the time out to buy labels, get those printed, do all that. Me, I didn't want those extra steps when it came to my lip gloss. I didn't want nobody to be able to pull my labels off, stick theirs on, and I just didn't. I just didn't want to deal with that. I got 100 of my wine tubes, and it does have stoppers in it. That's one thing I want to tell uh, ladies that's interested in starting a lip gloss company. If you guys are going to use wine tubes, make sure that the stoppers are included with your tubes, okay? Okay, but yeah, next go around, I think I'm gonna do like the 15 milliliter, 20 milliliter, and get like some of both. Hmm. I don't know yet. 
But yeah, I was thinking about that. Yeah. So that's what I got for lip gloss. Okay, I'm going to move on to the next box, which this is Amazon. So no secret here. Everybody can get to Amazon. I had got some syringes. Now, here's the deal with these syringes. I just thought that I could just go on Amazon and order it because I I knew I needed them, but this is only like a 20 milliliter and they are so small. Like this is not what I was seeing in the store, y'all. Okay, not the size. But yeah, look how Jesus guys, see how small this is. So then the first batch that came, it actually, this is the second batch that came, Lord. The first batch that came, I got it with the um, pipettes and all that. And I'm like, dang, those are very small. So I was like, let me order them some more. And then I ordered the same exact thing. Yeah. So now I just ordered some more, which is 60 milligrams. So this is 20. But the other one was 200, so I kind of thought that was big. But eventually, once those get here and I see those, I think I might have to get the 200. If anyone know the exact ones I need to use, whether it's 60, 200, or more, 100, or whatever, please leave a comment. Let your girl know. Again, this is a learning journey. This is my first inventory for my company doing my research and the things that I found. So I'm always open to suggestions to make my life easier. That's another reason why I'm doing this type of video to encourage people to let them know that it does not cost that much. You can find stuff anywhere, okay? Also in this particular packet that came from Amazon, I also got some Lauren, Lauren oils go in there baby some loran oils for flavoring got some of this my baby is so funny she just keep trying to wave and stuff but don't know the camera is on this way she is very distracting i'm trying to take this so serious okay this is my job I need to get over myself okay next box i got from amazon next box this box only had a, it had some more stuff in here but it didn't coincide with my company so i took them out everything ain't y'all business little do y'all know <laughs> okay so yeah i got some rose petals dry rose petals and then i got some gold real gold flakes okay and that's for a lip gloss idea that i got I got this good handy dandy Amazon packet. Bro, it's like, I got some stuff. Okay, so this is the other mica. So, for those who start in and you order your mica powders off of Amazon, they are only samples. The whole box of what you're looking for is not gonna come on Amazon. Okay, so, I'm trying to get this open. I'm guessing I have to rip this, okay. So this is mica powder, and when I say samples, honey, sample. yeah, as you see, these samples are so much smaller than the samples that come there. So I'm kind of glad that I, cause these was like the first things that I ordered, and then I did some research, and I, of course I always knew about TKB trading. But during my research, I found another place and tried them out, and I'm really digging them. I got some vitamin E. Okay. For my lip I also got these little lip gloss tubes. Now, the point of these little lip gloss tubes is because this is my first time. And, of course, I'm going to try... I'm gonna make a concussion to what I think that I like, but what I like ain't for everyone. And what I might think smell good or look good might not be for everyone, right? So the goal and the plan behind these little guys right here, which again was ordered from Amazon, is to make little samples. And I'm gonna do different, um, 
flavors or colors or one of different mixtures for my lip gloss. And I'm going to pass them out to like my families and friends, like my close families and friends. And we'll give them a couple of days because it don't take two weeks, one week to figure out if you like some lip gloss. All it takes is one or two times putting it on and you know if you like it. So yeah, I'm going to pass these around and these do have the stoppers in it so that I can test my product and make sure that I got the right, you know, concoction or formula. There you go. For the lip gloss that I want people to purchase because that is like my biggest fear to invest all this money into what I got going on and then make a product that people just, that I'm gonna get complaints about constantly, constantly, constantly. So that's another thing that you ladies wanna think about that I didn't hear no one talking about in their entrepreneur um, videos when they was talking about starting lip gloss and stuff like that. Whenever you're getting something or you trying to do something, especially when it's homemade, get some smaller things and make samples because you know, your friends and stuff, they always want to be honest anyways. And get you like some people at your job or whatnot. And, or just some close people. So people you know that's going to be honest and pass it around and get their truth. You can even make some cards with some check boxes on it and have them take a picture of it and send it to you after they tried it for a couple of days to see what you need to work on, what you know, like rate it. Like, that's what I'm gonna do. Get these and give a little card with um, a one through 10 for each little topic on what I'm looking for as far as like, if it's too sticky, if it's too runny, um, if it smell bad, if it tastes good, blah, 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 blah. You know, the formula, basically. Okay, so this ain't got nothing to do with it, but I did get me a new brush for doing fingernails. I'm really happy about that. Now, another thing that came in this package, I did get me, uh-oh, get, get these bag of diamonds because I do everything myself from editing to design, to taking my photos, to everything that got to go along with this business. I This is my heart and soul. I have done it all to the thoughts, the pictures, everything. I'm not hiring nobody. My logo, everything that I got going on, I did. I did it. It wasn't hard. And it dang sure didn't cost me a whole bunch of money, okay? Y'all like that? Because those who know me know I cuss a lot, so I'm working on that. Hmm. Next box, which is a big daddy box. This is from Amazon also. I do, so again, I wanna say, um, that those who know me, y'all know that not only am I starting my cosmetics, but this all started from me doing makeup, right? So um, I did upgrade my makeup business. I got me a director's chair for my um, clients. I got my lighting perfected for my clients. I got me some of the big umbrella lights or square lights, whatever we want to call it. And I got this a uh, wax machine, y'all. Step that game up. So now when you guys come to get glammed, I do include waxing now so I can wax your eyebrows, that top lip, and that chin. That is separate though. It does not come with the package. Again, eyebrows, you come and get your makeup done? No. Me, arch your eyebrows is not included. That's more time. No. But, and I have tweezing, I can razor, I can wax, and I also can thread you guys' eyebrows. All right, back on to my new company so i did get me some organza bags right the point of these organza bags is because i really was trying to figure out the vibe of where i wanted to go as far as um being able to um bag you guys product up because you know i hate getting stuff and i just gotta walk away with it in my hand i want a bag but I got these Orgasm bags off Amazon just to see how I like them before I ordered them because I did find um, a company where I could get me some Orgasm bags. Not this color, but ain't it so cute with the feathers on top? I thought it's kind of bougie, bougie. Beauty bougie. So I was thinking about maybe still getting these and putting 
my lip glosses in these, right? But I was also going to get some plastic bags, which were well, not also, I have them. Plastic bags with my logo on it. So when you guys uh, get your lashes and things from me, when you order and direct, you can get those or whatever. And um, online or whatever, of course, you gonna have mailers and all that stuff. That's a whole nother video, a whole nother topic, okay? I also got some little measuring spoons for um, making a lip gloss off Amazon. And they pretty cool because they're not the average measuring spoons. Um, like it says, this is a drop. Like this one. This one here is a drop. Um, the biggest one is a tad. This is a tad. Then you got a smidgen, a pinch, and a dash. I thought that was... Uh, <laughs> pretty cool and then i have some of the essential oils for lip gloss making i kind of just got some of everything so i can figure out the mixtures that i want to use and you know because some of these like this castor oil is kind of like yellow like these are kind of like yellow right but then you have like yes yeah, it's yellow but the fractionated coconut oil is clear right Okay, but I got grapeseed oil, fractionated coconut oil. And it's important, okay, fractionated coconut oil is better for lip gloss making than the um, raw coconut oil that you have to melt and put into your lip gloss because, keyword, you have to melt it. So if you get it in any um, environment that's um, cold, chilled, or not warm to work and stay in its liquid form then it's going to solidify and cause your lip gloss to kind of like separate break up and things like that because that's what it's supposed to do it's meant to um turn back kind of like solid you know what i'm saying so fractionated coconut oil stays in its liquid form at all points in time so you don't have to worry about that separation during temperature change okay. right so I got some avocado oil, some fresh in the coconut oil, grapeseed oil, and almond oil. Almond oil is a great oil, but you kind of want to be careful when you're using this because allergies. Like, I have a tree nut allergies, I guess, over time because almonds kind of like introducing everything, breads, blah, 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 so much stuff that almonds is, that almonds is in that I kind of like develop like... I guess it's not that bad, but I, if I eat a whole woman, oh, EpiPen me now, okay? But, like, yeah, I'm not as sensitive to certain things or whatever. Like, I can't even do almond milk, so, yeah. So, this right here, I will have to, like, use this in certain things. I wouldn't use those in every last one of them. And then I got castor oil. Castor oil, to me, is really important in lip gloss making, and I think a lot of people skip out on the castor oil. Castor oil helps with the penetration of the oils like getting into your skin and like like how it glide and you know so it, it's all about preference again to each its own that's why i got so many all right so all right so i also went to handy daddy walmart and i got this little rack which i feel like i should have got two <laughs> But I'm going to use this to dry after I wash my lip gloss tubes. I'm going to use this to uh, air dry my lip gloss tubes. Teachers on, use what you want to use. I saw this and boom, it clicked. The next order of business. Oh, okay, we're going to go to the easy one. Next order of business is I got my lashes. I, being that I do makeup, I felt like I noticed a lot of people take time to separate these. I can show y'all this. This is part of the inventory. I had got some rubber bands. And I did, before I did this video, went through and kind of like took inventory and separated things and made it a lot neater so that I could function. And I do have more lashes. I do have some inventory in my car for my travel kit. The lashes I have... 25 milliliter fluffy lashes. So those are my luxury lashes. Those are a higher price. So those are $12. And then I have regular 3D lashes for the regular girls. Okay. 
and I have the 3D meat for the girls like me. And I'm also wearing a pair of my lashes right now. I am wearing the 8XL, I'm pretty sure. Let me see. It's so many, there's so many. Okay, yes. This is the 8XL, the ones that I got on my eyes. And the best part about it is that it already has my label on it. And each one is still corona friendly. That's very important within these that nowadays to make sure that everything that you get is individually wrapped so that your customers can feel safe and healthy and know that you are safe. Right on it. I will pull pop one out. I really wasn't trying to pop one out because it's so neat. But yeah, I will pop one out. And yeah, it has my label on it. I don't know if I got too close or not. I can't tell. It has my label on it and it says Glamorous Minx by Valena. Everything that I got says by my Valena. By my Valena. Hey. Ha, ha, ha. Make sure that when you make your stuff, because there's so much competition out here that they know it's you. They ain't gonna know it's me. Okay. So I have three styles of 25 milliliter and I have four styles of regular 3D. This is a 11 and that's cute, it's a little wispy. They all like the messy, wispy take you there. It's a three and these are the regular lashes for the regular girls. There's nothing wrong with being regular. Regular gets you places, but dare to, to be different. Whoa, you dare to be different. Hm. Just try it. You will see. These are my favorite, and I have four pairs left. They are A4, and they just the cutest little things. They're so cute and so just. Yeah, and last but not least, I have D6. 50 and the regular lashes for the regular girls and again no shade it's nothing wrong with being regular it's nothing wrong with being regular okay right now i'm wearing 8l xal those are those and these are triple six l for long right here those are those and then we have x 15 l for a long. For those who don't know, I'm an East Sider, Detroit, a D girl. So I have some stuff in my city that no one else has. Okay, and right now this is only half of my inventory because I do have stuff that's in the car. Again, I like to ride with my shit, just in case somebody wants to spend some money. I'm right there. So I have Nike bonnets. Okay. And it is more colors. I will have the edge, the matching edge scarf to match it. But yeah, I'm the only one in my city with these. Holla at me. Nike Bond have Champion, Champion Chanel. I have Javinci. Now, this Javinci does have edge scarves. So this is a set. These are $35 for the set. My bonnets, Nike bonnets, Chanel bonnets, Champion bonnets are $20. Well worth it. And again, I'm the only one with them. And if you do find somebody with a name, why? So you want to make sure that you invest in yourself, which is quality, which is luxury. Invest in yourself. And $20 is nothing. It's nothing. $35 is nothing. Okay, I do want more. Right now, I'm starting to be fair. I'm going to make sure that I'm affordable. Okay, yeah. I have the set. I do have another set, which is the matching bonnets that match this black Louis edge scarf that is in the car. I didn't go and get it. I got these two. Yeah. So yeah, so those are bonnets. No, I will not tell you who my vendor is. Please don't ask. But if you want to know how you can get some from me, Drop a comment. Drop a comment. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And while you getting ready to comment, I know I only got a few videos up here. 
but I'm pretty sure you looked at them. I'm pretty sure you watched them, and that's why you're here today. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Again, it's free. It's free, baby. That's the best thing. All it takes is a little time for you to hit that button. While you're watching this video right now, turn your phone right side up and just click it, that little red part right there. It says subscribe. Click it. It's going to turn like gray. That's when you know you did it. And again, it's free and it supports me. And I really appreciate you guys. I really, really do. A lot of hot stuff for you guys. Like I said, um, I started my journey on YouTube, watching and looking, trying to figure out how to do some things. And it was a lot of things that I didn't find that I'm pretty sure that I have space for me to teach y'all. It's a space for me to show y'all. Okay? All right, so, some more things that's in my inventory. I have went and this didn't did this come from amazon i think this came from amazon so these are all the little fruits but these little hearts didn't the little hearts and that's for some of my lip glosses to put in there i also got these small little mason jars so i like to work to work smart not hard i don't have time each time that i do what i do to have to keep squirting all this so i'm going to pre-mix my oils and my mason jars and i'm going to use my pipettes put it in there so it's already mixed so i know what's in my oils and in my jars might not work for you but it's definitely going to work for me i just don't feel like squeezing i don't have time for i also got a few things to mix in i don't know why don't judge me but i got these little clear bowls okay or four pack i think i got these from family dollar these mason jars family dollar i did get those now these, I want to say I got these at Walmart, and I figured like when I'm doing my fancy videos and it's glass and it's all nice looking, don't judge me. Got this. Now also got these cups for mixing. I don't know. I also got two of these. I might put oil in there. I might put like my homemade pigments in it because I've been learning and studying on how to make liquid pigments. Haven't decided, but I got these. I also got. Uh, a box with a hundred gloves in it. Right, right, right. I got me some spatchy leaves. I also, hmm, I do have a thing with wooden spatulas in it for my mixing. Don't know where that's it. I was just looking at it, but I got them. Ain't these cute? I got these to mix the lip gloss. So I went and got me some stuff. I got this to take my pictures on. And I will, if you guys want to see or know where I got this and how much I paid or whatnot, let me know and I'll let you guys know. And I also got some of this to go along with it. And then I got this pretty. And all this is for my advertisements for when I take pictures. And I got this little chiffon to go with that. I don't know what I'm going to do with this Build-A-Bear fur, but I got it. I got some feathers too. Don't know quite yet what I'm gonna do, but I got it, okay? So you guys, yeah. That is everything again. Um, yes, this is my first inventory video for my new company, Glamorous by Belina. So guys, stay tuned. I will keep you guys tuned in on everything from budgeting to planning to keeping yourself organized to gathering your thoughts realistic plans disappointments oh my god because honey when it came to these bonnets i went through some stuff to get what i want so if you guys are interested in like my full journey and want me to kind of like blog or vlog more about my journey and my business let me know all right so next time i love y'all <coughs> i don't know what just happened <laughs> okay all right y'all until next time i catch up with y'all and don't forget to like and subscribe because it's free and it supports me